Hi, welcome back to the workshop, and today we are looking at Barkman's brand new NG7 stock. Now, Mike, despite the fact this doesn't belong on a double low gauge layout, you have to admit this does look fantastic, doesn't it? Oh, they really do. This is a lovely new addition from uh, Backman for its narrow gauge collection, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously quite a significantly different size to the Quarry Hunslet in 009. Quite a significant. I mean, it's it's larger by many different uh, different ways. But I mean, let's let's have a talk about the Quarry Hunslet to begin with. Just looking into the cab, just the detail on the back head, the, the gauge frames, the fire hole door, everything in there just looks incredible. It basically is looking at the small one that we're used to in 009, but on a much larger scale. It is, yeah. It's, it's really nicely done model, this, actually. I think it's got lots going for it in terms of, like, say, the quality and the detail side of things. Uh, it's got an X18 decoder socket inside it. It's got a nice little motor in there, which runs really smoothly and quietly as well. Um, you've got, um, like I said, the, the cab detail is fantastic. There's even a working firebox glow in there as well. It is stunning. Now, I mean, there may be some people out there thinking to themselves, well, this is NG7, it's a new scale gauge combination, what's available? But of course, it's actually not all that new, is it? Because you can get track from Pico, where yeah. 016 5 track is perfect for this type of thing. There's buildings that you can get, so it isn't just something that's brand new, brand new. That's right, exactly. So I, I think that's probably one of the, the little things that could catch people out, is back when we call the NG7, so it's narrow gauge and seven millimeter scale, which is, is, is technically correct what it is. Uh, but it's actually also in, in older model railway parlance, it'd be 016.5, which is a bit more of a mouthful. So actually, NG7 is quite nice in a way. So yeah, yeah 016.5 is basically O gauge scale products, which will run on a 16.5 millimeter gauge track. Which, of course, is double O gauge. Which is double O gauge width of track. Yes. So then the sleeper spacing is different for it being narrow gauge. And there are, like you said, there's dedicated track components already available from Pico for all this. So you can buy yard lengths of flexible track, you can buy points, you can buy crossings. There's loads of kits available as well for this type of thing, so you can expand the range of vehicles you've got. Mm. Um, and if you're an American model as well, there's loads of over 16.5. So it's, it's not a new scale, but it is new in terms of British ready-to-run products. So. Of course. And of course, to, to augment and supplement this, Barkman have actually got a few NG7 buildings that they're yeah, in this one as well. Yeah, so they've, they've, uh, they've cloned some of their buildings they did for the 009 range, and they've uh, upscaled them for 016.5, or NG7, sorry. Now, obviously, got the um, slate built engine sheds together with its little water tower and store building as well, which is really quite a nice combination. I'm looking forward to seeing how this range from Barkland does grow and progress. And I think it's, it's something that we're going to have a bit of fun with in the future. I wouldn't have, met, I wouldn't have thought. But so let's talk about the locomotive to begin with. What's, what's driving this? I, think, I mean, because it's, it's small for its size, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, so it's got a, a cordless motor inside this, uh, which provides drive to, to the um, running gear, keeps the locomotive running quietly and nice along the layout. And there's an X18 decoder socket in there. And there's a factory fitted speaker. And there's also, like I said, there's the firebox flicker in there as well. So a full suite of components there to give you a nice, exciting package. The the rolling stock over here, is this the limit of what they've released at the moment, or is there more coming? And, well, I'm sure there'll be more coming. It'll depend on the take-up of the first round, obviously. But we've got here, we've got a cold wagon, a flat wagon, and a slate wagon as well. Um, again, slightly different designs to what they've done for 009. Um, all based on a, a matching chassis design in terms of the NG7 stock. Uh, but again, it gives you the option. You can make up a little mix rate. You can make up a whole rake of slate wagons. Uh, and like I said before, you can go and buy other stock as kits to build upon this as well to expand the range of vehicles available right now if you wish. So, yeah. Well, I mean, the appeal, for example, of NG7 is the fact that you can have practically an O-gauge layout in a size of a double O or even smaller because, once again, it's narrow gauge, tight curves. You can have a shunting puzzle. The scope is amazing in such a small space, but you get a large model to play with. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And I think you'd probably get a, a circle of track in about two and a half to three foot width for one of these. Um, so you don't need a huge amount of width to get a layout in. Right. And then sort of four, five, six foot, you get quite a nice little 016.5 NG7 type layout in there as well. And uh, as most people have imagined as well, having seen what we did with the uh, double fairly when that arrived, and my brain is already spiraling with ideas of what we could do with this. I can see the cogs turning already. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, mm, I've got a nice Great Western pannier in my stash as well. That would work quite nice as a little transfer between um, O-gauge, standard gauge, and nut gauge. Loads of ideas. Loads of ideas. That's just one. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, the Quarry Hunslet is just one of the range of locomotives that are actually being released by Barkman this year. But What's coming and when can people expect to see it in the shops? Right, so what's coming? So we've got the, the Quarry Hunslet is coming and there's four different versions of it. So we've got two with open cabs, two with closed cabs, mm -hmm. uh, and they're all available both DCC ready and DCC sound fit from the factory. Um, you've then got this collection of wagons, you've got the slate buildings, you've got a crew coming as well, uh, and all that is coming and due to arrive this summer with Batman retailers. It does sound absolutely fantastic. Well, look, if you have been thinking about getting into narrow gauge uh, railways and you've been inspired, for example, through the 009 stuff like Fairly Sinadar, but you want something a little bit bigger, 
then NG7 from Barkman could very well be for you. And of course, you can read a full review of this in HM205, our July edition of Hobby Magazine, which is on sale right now. And then you'll be able to see more progressively, even more so, at keymodelworld.com. In the meantime, though, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm going to go plan a layout now. I knew that was coming. I just knew that was coming. You never did, didn't. We need a bigger shed.